What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another exciting vlog. I am happy to report that I am starting off today on a very successful note here. I was able to secure bagels from the Bagel Experience and the line is actually out the door this morning. I don't know if this is how it usually is, but uh, we've been here three times and I had to wait about 20 minutes this morning. It is Saturday morning, so that could be why everybody's rushing out to grab their breakfast, but I have the bagels to review here for the channel for our most recent battle video, which likely would have already been posted by now by the time you guys are seeing this vlog. But we have a very busy day ahead of us. We're gonna attempt to do an auction tonight. I need to start getting uh, pops into the Encore app the ones that we've designated for Toys for Tots. Uh, we also need to film our battle video today and we need to do so many other things. So I don't know how it's gonna happen, but we have reinforcements coming later with our family arriving soon. And uh, we'll just take you guys along for the ride and we'll see how much we can get accomplished now that we are T minus seven days until our Toys for Tots mega auction overall whatnot. Absolutely cannot believe how quickly it snuck up on us, but let's get to work. Okay, so Joanna and I just got done filming our mystery box battle. Finally got a win here in the new house. I actually pulled some pretty awesome pops, including this beautiful 2014 bloody Buffy. So that's a really nice one from 2014 San Diego Comic-Con. But now I need to get to work because we have all of these sodas that we actually sold last night during our soda show. So thank you to everybody who came on over and grabbed a couple sodas. Now I actually need to start putting pops on Encore because we're doing a pregame show Wednesday night on YouTube and I need to make sure that we have some pops on Encore because we love the Encore app. Uh, we partnered with them for New York Comic Con. I think it is a great up and coming marketplace. So since we have over a thousand items that have come in for donations for Toys for Tots, we're going to take, I'm going to try to get around a hundred items over on Encore and that way we can start the, uh, start the tally for our Toys for Tots fundraising here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And then tonight we're going to be going live on whatnot once again because uh we want to keep the cash coming in for the renovations of course so joanna has already inputted all these pops into the whatnot app for tonight's show so lots of work and at the same time while this is happening i've got two contractors over in the house working on the new studio and our family's here they're over hanging out in the uh, living room and enjoying the new kitchen so very happy that they're here and uh, we're actually going to do a little movie night tonight after our whatnot show so only going live on whatnot for one hour doing a hard stop after an hour and then we're going to hang out with the family tonight so that's what i got to do right now i want to see how much work i can get done in the next few hours before we go live on whatnot and i think i'm going to start out with a bunch of items here in this bin to use for encore because there's some good ones in here the zombie venom that marty mcfly freddy uh the red hulk is a good one we got the captain america 4 movie coming out with him so i think i'm gonna start using some items from this bin okay so it took me about an hour but i managed to get 20 pops loaded up into the encore app and i also labeled the bin that they came from so they don't get mixed up with all the other bins that are going to be used for whatnot and now speaking of whatnot i need to get a wall together and make a promo for the stream because we are about to go live here in about two hours so i got two hours to get some work done here and prep for the show and this is actually going to be our last whatnot auction for profit for the next two weeks because the next two weeks toys for tots is going to be taking up a hundred percent of our focus our resources our time and uh we're super excited i cannot wait to see how much money we can raise only one week from today it still blows my mind how fast 2024 has flown by good morning everybody it is morning. sunday <laughs> and i got the whole team here with me as we need to tag team and get all of last night and the previous night's items packed up and ready for shipping out tomorrow morning yeah that guy who just drove by was driving by very quickly rita is also here she's gonna help us get more items loaded up into the app we currently have over 400 items we're hoping to surpass 500 items today so we've got a lot of work ahead of us plus i need to unbox all of the items that i still have 
here in the garage that I need to unpack and open and see what we have as far as the donations go. Got all these boxes right here. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us and uh, it's gonna be a long day but we are T minus six days until Toys for Tots. So I just finished packing up everything that we sold this weekend, ready for pickup tomorrow. And a little while I realized that tomorrow is Veterans Day. So there is no mail, but weirdly enough, the kids still have school, the banks are closed. Like I'm just, where do we stand on Veterans Day? Because everything was closed for Columbus Day. So I'm just kind of confused why we're picking and choosing holidays where the kids go to school. Personally, I think everybody should have off. I think it should be a national day of remembrance, but who am I? Whatever. Anyway, everybody's packages will have to wait until Tuesday until they go out in the mail. But I do have very good news as the contractors just left the house and the brand new Funko Studio is completely done. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. I was in the house a couple minutes ago. It looks incredible. Now, it's going to be a couple days before we can start breaking everything in and bringing in Billy bookshelves and building and everything. But, oh my gosh, I am so excited to move operations from here in the garage for Slapshot Pops, for the filming aspect, into the first floor of the house. But I will show you guys the new studio in a moment. Real quickly, let me show you what Joanna's been up to because while I've been packing boxes and Rita put more items into the app for the Toys for Tots show, of which we have almost 500 items individually loaded up. So shout out to Rita. She is killing it. Joanna has actually been making some huge moves over here. It's really opened up this space. And um, let, me, let me show you guys what her plans are for this. So Joanna actually took down the two shelves or she moved them that were over here to over here. And um, it was a great idea. She has come up with a system where she actually wants to make a big U. So we're gonna move all of this crap right here. It's all of our stuff, but we're gonna have the two shelves. She's actually gonna take the third one and put it right there. So the third shelf will be there. These shelves will be here, and then there's going to be tables all along here. It's going to be those tables. We're going to move them over here and make one big U, and she's going to actually alphabetize all the pops for the Toys for Tots show, starting off with the A's, you know, going through D, E, F, and so on. And then once everything is alphabetized in this U, when I am actually doing the auction over there, once an item, so somebody will go get an item for me this way. So somebody will go this way, grab whatever item is requested or whatever various items are needed, then bring it over to me. I will be right here and selling the items. And then once they're sold, we'll pass them off this way. And then there will be an empty table or two right over here where the sold items will start to pile up. So it is a great vision for a system, really hoping that it will come to fruition. But knowing Joanna, it definitely will because she is very organized and she has become very good at doing these large events. This is by far the largest Toys for Tots. Actually, this is just going to be the largest auction ever that we're going to be attempting to do um, but i'm super excited but let me show you guys the brand new studio and then i gotta finish opening up all these boxes as well as the other ones over on the back table so thanks to the help of joanna's friend and his contractor friend check out the brand new studio oh my gosh we got another coat of paint on the walls fresh ceiling tiles Brand new, super bright, recessed lighting with dimmers. Check this out, I love this. Such a simple feature that makes me so happy. Oh, so cool. Absolutely incredible. We do have a water pump down here that we need access to, so they actually created a super unique way where we can still access it, which is amazing. Flooring, of course, is brand new. And uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking Billy bookcases that we have yet to build because we have some new ones that have just been sitting and uh, we're going to put them all along the wall up to here. Then we need to make sure that there's enough room for this door to open. So then probably starting about here, we'll have more 
Billy bookcases displaying all of our collection coming over to here. And then what I'm thinking is we're gonna have another one right here and then I wanna make a really cool display. We actually have a couple of Funko posters that I wanna put up, um, maybe some sort of smaller shelving unit right here. We need to keep this exposed so we have heat in here because uh, it does get pretty cold here in the winter. And then what we're thinking is putting the content table wherever we want and we can just film with different pops in the background for every single video but i am just super excited beyond pumped to start making content in the future home of slapshot pops this is incredible now the goal was to finish this space before toys for tots which technically we achieved however it might be a week or two before we can actually build everything and move everything into here before we actually can start filming, you know, regular videos for the channel in here just because of how many hundreds of man hours Toys for Tots is going to continue to take, you know, with uh, unboxing all the donations, filming the donations, putting the items in the pops or putting the pops into the app. And then, uh, of course, we have to sell the items, ship the items, you know, make sure everything is packed according to everyone's specific orders and such. So that is going to be huge. Like that's probably going to take three to four days on its own, just shipping and well, packing and shipping a thousand plus orders. So that's going to be crazy. So it's going to be probably a week or two before we get in here full time, but I'm super excited. I think it came out amazing. Uh, it's a beautiful space. And uh, of all the places, this is technically the third place, third house that we've operated Slapshot Pops from. This is this is the uh, the biggest space that we've had. So shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for making this dream a reality. I just, I'm so excited to uh, start making content in here and making this exactly how we envisioned it. I'm excited to finally get a majority of our collection out of bins. You know, uh, my whole Star Wars collection has just been living in bins. Uh, I'm excited to get as many pops as we possibly can on display right here in the studio. So once again, shout out to you guys, but uh, we gotta get back to work. I gotta start go unboxing uh, more donations. We gotta see what else you guys sent over for this monumental Toys for Tots auction that we have in only six days. So let's get back to work in the garage. All right, now getting back to unboxing some more great donations. This next lot of items comes from our good friend, John Medina, AKA JMed. He sent over the Funko Shop exclusive Purge Trooper, Eleven, Captain Marvel, Alexei, AKA the Red Guardian, Killer B, Star Sapphire for the Pops. And then he sent over a ton of great sodas. Look at that, we've got Spider-Man, Moon Knight, Last Ronin, Super Chicken, Bruno, Smee, Agatha Harkness, Ben 10, Baxter Stockman, Fearless Leader, Robocop, Umbaku, Destro, Lotso, Captain America, Winifred Sanderson, just to name some of the characters. JMed, John, thank you so much. Really appreciate this very generous donation. This is definitely gonna help out our Toys for Tots, Duck Duck Chase soda games for sure. This next lot of pops comes from Samantha. Samantha, thank you so much for everything you sent over. We've got some cool ones here. We have the Artist Series Target Exclusive Shuri, Haja from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, E.T. with flowers, Talia Al Ghul. That one's actually a really nice one. The only Talia that we've ever gotten. We've got the Alien Twins from Men in Black. Kari, that one's glow in the dark. Another Haja. The Blacklight Sam Wilson Captain America. That's a good one to grab right now because we have Captain America 4 on the way hitting theaters in February. We've got the really cool Loot Crate exclusive, The Joker, Batman, Batman. Another Shuri, couple more Shuris. And then the Black Panther Wakanda Forever Target exclusive glow in the dark four pack. This one is super cool because you actually get a couple unique versions of these characters that you can only get in this four pack. My particular favorite here is Ironheart. You get her Mark II suit right there, which I think is awesome, especially Shuri too. Shuri in that leaping dynamic pose is just awesome. So Samantha, thank you so much for everything you sent over. We've got you all tabbed up to be added to our thank you wall. So this next massive soda donation comes from Cuz. And what's really cool about Cuz is he actually wrote us a beautiful note right here. 
he actually found us and bought his very first item on Whatnot during last year's Toys for Tots show for 2023. So how crazy is that? Let's check out some of the sodas that he sent over. Look at that, we've got Roger Ramjet, Blacklight Jack Skellington, Spikey, Bazooka Joe, Rocket, John Stewart Green Lantern, a Blacklight Leonardo, the Oompa Loompa, Gene LaFoot, Marty McFly, Eric Draven, look at that Webley up there, The Last Ronin, Hatbox Ghost, Pennywise, Santa Jack, Rosie, Ted Lasso, Garfield, and look at the Snoopy, as well as the Blacklight Michelangelo. Oh, there's even a Phantom Shadow down there as well. So, Cuz, thank you so much for your incredible donation. You also sent over a Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey Chase, which I have marked to add to our chase pile. So, thank you so much. This was truly just unbelievably kind of you. And we've already got you tabbed to be added to the thank you wall. This next grouping of all WWE pops actually comes from our very good friends, Nate and Amanda. And they actually wanted to send over some WWE pops because collecting WWE is a big passion of theirs. So they wanted to send over some WWE pops for the WWE collectors at our Toys for Tots show. We've got Seth Rollins, Bam Bam Bigelow, Rocky Mavia, Macho Man Randy Savage, Diesel, Mr. America, Jerry Lawler, The Demon Finn Balor, John Cena, The Rock, Dusty Rhodes, and another The Rock holding the belt. But they were also super kind, and they not only wrote us an amazing note, they even included a nice little Dunkin' gift card, which we are definitely going to put to use this week because we have a lot of work ahead of us. So, Nate and Amanda... Thank you so much. We very much look forward to hopefully meeting you guys someday. And I got you guys on a sticky note so we can get your name officially on the thank you wall. This next incredible donation is actually coming from Dennis V. So Dennis, thank you so much. Really appreciate the very kind letter that you included. Said a lot of nice things about our YouTube channel and how our community imp impacted and encouraged you to uh, start collecting Funko Pops. So let's check out what you sent over. We've got the Mech Strike Black Panther, No Heart with Book from the Care Bears line, the Wood Spider-Man, Elliot and E.T. over there, Jaskier, Bugs Bunny Diamond, Arthur with Sword. Down here we've got Jake Sully, E.T. in Disguise, a couple uh, turtles here with Leonardo and Donatello. There is the Tatiana from She-Hulk, Kang from Quantumania, Bunch of chases, which is awesome. We've got the Sam as Leprechaun chase bundle there. The Oswald Cobblepot chase bundle. Master Chief with Cortana. Jimi Hendrix, Doctor Strange. Down here, you've got Yelena from the Hawkeye series. Buzz Lightyear, MODOK. That one is actually a con sticker from last year's San Diego Comic-Con. The Hunter Ron chase. Aeroplane Cuphead. Chef Saltbaker chase. And then Wong from She-Hulk. You also included... Some t-shirt bundles. We've got the Boba Fett from The Mandalorian. That is an awesome t-shirt right there. That is a small, medium, and then that one is a small. So you get the pop and the t-shirt, but we're not done yet as you also sent over a nice variety of sodas here. Some sealed, some open. Love the Batman and the Halloween Stitch especially. And to top it all off, you even included some Pocket Pops. Love the Thrawn's Night Trooper. That is Definitely my favorite right there, as well as the Black Panther and Batman. So, Dennis, thank you so much. Really appreciate this massive contribution to our Toys for Tots show. Next donation here is coming from Jose. Thank you so much for everything you sent over. Let's check it out. So, first off, we've got some sealed Funko t-shirts. we got the X-Men 97 shirt, as well as a Din Djarin Mandalorian shirt, which is absolutely amazing. I love both of these. And we even have a Venom vs. Spider-Man comic. Comic moment. This is super cool. PX Previews exclusive. And it has a protector, which is amazing. Check out this beautiful three-pack. The Amazon exclusive Spider-Man, friendly Spider-Man, and Andrew Garfield's amazing Spider-Man from Spider-Man No Way Home. How many times did I just say Spider-Man? Well, I'm going to say it again because we've got a Spider-Man soda, a zombie Hunter Spider-Man soda as well, and a Casey Jones. We also have J. Jonah Jameson, a signed and authenticated All Might, which is incredible. We have yet another signed pop for our show, plus Mary Jane. Joanna loves this one because this is the Mary Jane where she's holding a little tiny 
Spider-Man doll. We also have some out-of-box pops with, you guessed it, Spider-Man, as well as, I think that's a Demon Slayer moment back there. And then we've got a little Grogu mystery mini, as well as Crosshair out-of-box, which is just absolutely amazing. So, Jose, thank you so much for your incredible contributions. Next donation here is coming from our good friend Rudy, who wrote us a very kind message. So, thank you so much for the inspiring words. Let's check out the items that you sent over. We've got the Armored Luffy, Blacklight Jimi Hendrix, Guillaume, Aluka. Look at that brand new Bullseye in Ninja Mask with Leo. Absolutely love those pops. We were unable to find them at our local Target, so I'm so excited that we have one of those for the show. We've also got Grace Adler. Check out this Funkoverse Nightmare Before Christmas pack where you get the three little shock, lock, and barrel. Love that. Shania Twain, Mr. Prickle Pants, and Kid Flash. This is a fantastic assortment. Rudy, thank you so much for sending this over for our Toys for Tots show. This next incredible donation package is coming from our good friend Whitney. Oh my gosh, you outdid yourself. Thank you so much for your very lovely letter and let's check out your donations. So over here, we've got some plushies. We've got the owl from Harry Potter as well as the Simba right here from the Lion King, which is awesome. Check out the first of two Lego sets right here. We have a buildable stitch, super cute. Moving on up here to some pops, we've got the Toy Tokyo, New York Comic Con, Inuyasha, Glow Chase, Shazam! The Barbie Astronaut, Captain Marvel with the con sticker, a He-Man rewind right there, a Diamond 2000 piece Gaia, from Captain Planet, the Joker right there. That's actually one of the newer ones from the 85th anniversary line. Then we have the Mini Puffed with Weights, Funko Shop exclusive. And then check out this beautiful Hogwarts Express train. And um, it's actually one that we do not have for our collection. So we're gonna have to hopefully pick this one up next year at some point before it retires. But this is a beautiful set right here. 1,074 pieces. You get two, four, six, eight mini figs. And the train. This is easily, I think this is like, I think this is like $130 retail. This is not a cheap set. So Whitney, thank you so much. Yeah, this is, uh, this is one that Joanna might be bidding on in the background. She it's also, like yeah, she said she's also going to be bidding on this super cute Dorables pack right here. Check this out. I love that. Like I, I might love that 1% more than the Really? Yeah, just because look how many. You get 30. There's 30 Dorables here in this pack, which is crazy. So <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bid on You're going to bid on both those items? All right. So whoever is going for those items, you might be going up against Joanna. But Whitney. I'm going to have a shady account. Like, I'm going to be like cardboard, cardboard ninja or something. Like something that nobody's going to know. Sexy meatball. <laughs> <laughs> something like that um anyway guys uh whitney thank you so much for this incredible donation really means the world let's keep going we've got a lot more boxes to get through so this next incredible donation lot is actually coming from stacy and bobby who we got to meet in person at new york comic-con they included this beautiful note complete with a picture of us from our new york comic-con trip this year and on top of that probably the coolest thing they yeah. made a custom 2025 funko desk calendar which joanna and i are absolutely in love with so there you go you've got animal with the drums who was a new york comic-con exclusive so love that little easter egg right there and there's a different funko pop picture for every month of the year I'm, i just think that's the cutest thing ever because John and I were talking about making calendars for 2025. And I think it's a sign. Like, look look at the amazing job she did. They're so good. I love this too. Good things come to those who hustle. We're definitely hustling, but I love all of guys. these pictures. I, I'm in love with that calendar. That's hilarious. I can't wait to put it in the brand new Funko Studio. I love how there's so many Freddies included. Yeah, this is definitely going in the brand new studio. So Stacy and Bobby, thank you so much. Now let's check out the great items that you sent over. So we've got some sodas with Reptar, Deku, Snake Plissken, and Pennywise. And then moving over to the Pops, we've got Tommy Pickles, Luke Skywalker, Spikey, Gold D. Roger, Flocked Inosuke, 
uh, Luffy Gear 5, Pam Beasley with the teapot, and then we've got two Freddies, Freddy Funko as Casey Jones, and Freddy Funko as the Flash. Thank you so much for these incredible items. Thank you for the beautiful letter, and to top it all off, we absolutely love the Funko Pop custom desk calendar for 2025. Thank you so much. Just when I think the packages just can't get any crazier, we open up a box and you guys just continue to outdo yourselves and blow us away even more. So this incredible donation lot is coming from Michelle. She is so kind and so generous. We actually already have her name right here on the wall, which is fantastic. She sent over a bunch of Lego sets, a lounge fly bag, a ton of Grey Pops, and some amazing sodas. But before we get into those, we have to check out and shout her out for the incredible things that she sent here in this card. So she sent over five Starbucks gift cards that we are so thankful for, and we are definitely gonna be using these to fuel up the team. We have six people coming over to help us out for Toys for Tots, and we're just gonna get as much coffee as possible. So these are definitely going to go to good use. This other item, I, I can't believe this. Like, Michelle, thank you so much. Guys, look at this. This is the Freddy Funko 2024 fun days coin that they gave out this past summer and she actually sent it over for my personal collection like i'm just in complete shock right now like this we is don't we don't this is so cool and it was something that i had near the top of my wish list for items that i needed to pick up this year that i missed out on from fun days this is just ridiculously amazing. So Michelle, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. This is going to be literally a treasured item in my collection for the rest of time. So thank you so much for that. Thank you for the better, very generous gift cards. Now let's get into your items. Let's start off with the lounge fly bag over here. We have a My Hero bag. Moving into the Lego sets, here is the Majestic Tiger 3-in-1 Creator set. If you guys don't know, the 3-in-1 Creator sets are exactly what they sound. There is one standard build. However, there is two alternate builds. So if you win this set, you don't want to build the tiger. Let's say you want to build the fox or what looks like to be a red panda, or you could build the fish. It's completely up to you. The set includes all three sets of instructions and the pieces needed to create all three versions of whatever you're trying to build, which is amazing. Up here, we have the creator mini Vespa the Spring Garden House GWP, the Jane Goodall Tribute GWP. Check out this beautiful set. If this is not just like the perfect set for us to have for the Toys for Tots show, I don't know what is. This is the Christmas tree, 784 pieces. I think a lot of people are going to be bidding on this one for sure. Then we have some Brickheads. We love the Brickheads. Here's Chip and Dale. And then we have another cute little set. I believe this was a GWP as well from last year, the Year of the Tiger set. So just some absolutely incredible Lego sets. Now let's move into the Pops. The Pops are not too shabby as well. Check out the Con sticker, Batman Superman Fusion, Blacklight Artist Deadpool, the Spirit Exclusive Blacklight Jumbo, the Fall Convention 2019 Slim from Killer Clowns. That is a big grail right there. Marvin the Martian, Gingerbread Spider-Man, Diamond Yuga, Mayor Patty Noble from the Peppermint Lane line. Check out this pop. Joanna was eyeballing this. This might be one that we have to add to the pile of stuff that we want to bid on. We missed out on Kermit from this past year's San Diego Comic-Con, and this one happens to have the official con sticker. Joanna actually said this is what she looks like every single morning. Check out this Freddy. Oh my gosh, we were literally just talking about this specific Captain Hook Freddy. 3,400 piece, you could only get it at fun days, and he has the little Tinker Bell inside the lantern there. So adorable. Then we have the Kaboom Serial Clown, Diamond Winnie the Pooh, and now moving into the sodas, she sent over a barrel chase, misfit elephant flock chase, the Rudolph flock chase, and then some just 
incredible common characters right here. I mean, you've got H&R Puff and stuff with the mini Emerald City Con sticker, the Blacklight Sally, Blacklight Oogie Boogie, Crunchberry Beast, Garfield, Carl Fredrickson, Captain Crunch, Spooky Space Kook, and Peter Potamus. I mean, come on. This box was just unbelievable. So, Michelle... Thank you so much for everything you sent over. This is going to raise a ton of money. And uh, once again, just I am so grateful for this incredible coin. This last donation for today's vlog is actually coming from Andrew. So really appreciate everything that you sent over. Unfortunately, we did not see a note or anything, um, but really appreciate as many pops and sodas that you put into that box. Thank you so much. We've got the Funko Shop exclusive Quake. Down here we have the Glow in the Dark Toys R Us exclusive Neighbor Pumpkin Head. I've actually never seen that one. Killua over here from Hunter Hunter. The Year of the Shield Bucky aka the Winter Soldier. I absolutely love that one. Down here we've got Carrot from One Piece. The Diamond Eevee from Pokemon. USA Homer. Simpsons are always in high demand so that one's great. Old Man Steve Rogers, also from the Year of the Shield line. Energizer Bunny. Up here we've got Hinata with Twin Lion Fists. The MTV Moon Person. And Guillaume from Demon Slayer. As for the sodas, you actually gave us a 3 liter Silver Age All Might, so we appreciate that. We also have Moon Knights, the Three Cabaneros Donald Duck, Master Chief, Green Lantern, Batmite, Boba Fett, Remy, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, and the Halloween Freddy Funko, just to name a few. So Andrew, really appreciate this incredible contribution for our Toys for Tots auction. All right, so that's gonna do it for this vlog. We opened up a lot of donation boxes. So once again, thank you to everybody who has sent something over. As of the recording this video, we have over 500 items loaded up into the app. Joanna is working her tail off. She's doing some sorting right now. She likes to have everything alphabetized. She actually built this new shelf. So we have that up and running here. And uh, we just got a lot of work to do this week. So Joanna, how you feel? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. A lot of work ahead of us, but it's going to yield some incredible results. Year. I don't want to do this next year. You know why? Uh -oh. Because I found so many things that I want. So I don't oh, even want to yeah. do this next year. Guys, it's tough. don't send us good stuff. Like, like the it's doors, hard. Yeah. the Lego sets, the it's plushies. Hard. I can't do this life. It is know. hard seeing all these amazing items come in and then... Yeah, they have to leave. So it's it's uh, it's bittersweet. It's a little cruel, but it's for a good cause. We're raising money for the kids and uh, hoping to beat last year's total. I don't know if we're going to make it, but we're certainly going to try and work our tails off. So if you guys haven't done so already, please go bookmark the show. The link is in the description below. If you're new to Whatnot, we actually have an exclusive link that will get you $15 off your very first purchase. So please come on over. If it's the only time you ever set foot on Whatnot, please take advantage of that $15 because you can put it towards a good cause and get something cool for your collection. So if you enjoyed this vlog, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and as always, don't... don't... Let you do you score. <laughs> she beat me to it. Let's go, baby. Mm -hmm.